What's up my friends, Kevin here, the Tattoo Toy Hunter, and today I'm going to be unboxing, reviewing, NECA's Kick-Ass 2 Colonel Stripes and, st uh, Stars and Stripes, I should say. Uh, this figure, I really enjoyed both movies, part one and two, but the Kick-Ass 1 movies, the figures didn't have any type of articulation at all, they were pretty much statues, but when Kick-Ass 2 came out, these figures are very articulated, they look so much better, so I was very excited to, uh, start collecting these from series two. Uh, I need to go back and pick up mf -er. He's only $9.99. I should have actually got him yesterday. Uh, and also I need to find actual kick-ass. They didn't have them there. They had, uh, what was the girl's name? Let's take a look at the back here. Hit Girl, that's what it was, right? I don't see her name here, but that's Hit Girl. And here's a picture of, uh, they have two different versions of Kick-Ass. One is just in his regular outfit, and this one's like armored. But both of them have great articulation. Here's a little rundown on uh, <clears throat> the figure. A lot of stuff that he does and stuff and whatnot. I think they did such a good job, job with him. I love the fact that the dog comes with him. His, his uh, sidekick. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's much articulation. But, you know, oh well. So let's go ahead and open up this clamshell style package uh $14.99 is a deal like you see it was $24.99 I think it was even more than that at one time but it's dropped down so I'm very excited to take a look at him and his accessories so I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video cut them open because it's gonna be real noisy and then uh take a look at him see you in a bit all right so here we have Colonel Stars and Stripes out of the packaging and I gotta say uh visually they're just amazing looking I really really love these figures uh, I don't know how long this these guys have been in the package and how they were stored, but the articulation on the gentleman is very tight. I was worried I almost broke his foot trying to get it to bend. I should have probably warmed him up a little, but, you know, oh well. And actually, this right here, this articulation screwed up. I don't know if I can pop it back into place, but if you see the elbow articulation, it's popped out. So that's unfortunate. I was really wanting to do a lot with him. So, I don't know if I can fix that at all, but I'll, I'll see. We'll take a look at them. Let's go ahead and uh, review the rest of what comes in the package. I love this type of bat he has. It looks like a, maybe an axe handle, just but just the wood. And uh, the paint and the sculpt on it's like so nice. NECA did such a good job there. I don't know if I can even read that. Let's see. What does that say? I can't really read it, which I apologize, but man, look at the articulation. Look at the wood grain that's carved in here, the sculpt. That's insane. That's beautiful. I don't remember what the dog's name was. Is he Stripes? I, I just don't remember. I need to go back and uh, watch again or at least look up on the internet. <laughs> okay, so the whole body, there's really no articulation to the body, but the sculpt is like just beautiful. I love his like... Uh, armored vest he's wearing here camouflage looks so good now the head does have articulation it does move it looks like from the bottom part i don't know if this is like just a separate ring that's supposed to look like his hair the head does bend a little uh that's beautiful that the jaw articulates that is so nice love the mask he wears i mean excellent i don't have enough animals so Really excited. The legs, I wish they did articulate. Um, they were kind of squished in so he didn't stand at first, but you can pop them out. So here we have Colonel Stars and Stripes, I'm assuming is his name. Man, I wish I could get this in like the other one. The other one's in nice and tight. It works really well. So starting at the top, his head does move uh, side to side, but the hoodie is like really hard, so I don't think that comes off. I think that's permanent there, which looks good. I mean, they did a really good job on the face sculpt, the scars, the mask. See, there goes the dog in the background. <laughs> None of that moves. 
Arms are on a ball. They're tight again, like I was saying. I don't know if it's the way it was stored or what, but, and I wish I could get that in there. I may have to warm it up and then squeeze it in with some grit, like uh, pliers or something. I'll work on it. I think that's fixable. Of course, like I was saying, the elbow, it's single elbow, but it's hinged in and pegged, so it has all that uh, great articulation. I love the U.S. flag there in his military gear. The clothing, man, there's so, so many of the pockets, the wrinkles. They did such a good job. I'm just so bummed about that arm. The hands are actually pegged and hinged in. I love the sculpt of the gloves. There's another flag there, which looks great. But he's got fighting gloves on, fingerless gloves. I love the sculpt of the belt. It feels like it is just deco. It's kind of sculpted onto the uniform, which looks great. The wrinkles in the back of the clothes. Legs are on a ball. That's all you get because of the jacket he's wearing. But quite a bit. Not bad. For NECA, not bad. Uh, we do have double knee, so that's pretty awesome. I do like that. I love all the the pockets and pouches he gets, like this right here. Looks really good. Double knee. Uh, you got that boot cut, which is a nice hidden place to to actually hide an articulation point. The boots look good. The articulation there looks good. This foot right here is the one I thought was going to pop off, <laughs> but it's moving now. I got it loose. That's all you get is front and back on the articulation of the boot. Uh, there's no waist, which is unfortunate as well. But you know what? He looks great. I'm really down with him, except for the except for what they did with that. Well, not even they did. Who knows if it was just... I just need to get it really low in there. And then... Because this one looks really good. It's kind of shoved up into the upper arm. So I think if I can get this pushed in and squeezed in, that it'll pop in there real nice. I think it's fixable. I'll find some, some tools and see what I can do. But anyway, this is going to be Colonel Sars and Stripes with his partner. I think they did such a good job with him. This is weapon. Uh, I'm going to have to actually keep working on this dog's legs to get him to stay separated. That way he stands better. But he looks amazing. And I love the articulation of the head and jaw. So that's going to be the review of this. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, hopefully I can fix him up because... They only had one of them, so I know I can't return them, and he's way more expensive second market online. But anyway, if you enjoyed the movie, uh, if you haven't seen the movie, I should say, make sure to check it out. I thought it was very good. It's very entertaining. And uh, the figures are great, too. Neck it really knocked it out of the park with the second series. Like I said, the first series, if you're okay with them not moving around much, but these second series are, like, on point. Definitely really happy with them. Um, Let's see, who can I, who can I put here next to him? Let's go ahead and just put a Mattel. He's going to be taller, of course, so you can see the height difference. Not much, actually, very close. Let's take a quick look now that I'm mentioning that. Uh, yeah, he's well over, he's like seven and a half inches, Colonel. They're both seven and a half inches, which is, that's cool. I'm down with it. Let's look at an, an a little bit older elite figure. Man, what a difference. <laughs> we'll sit him over here with the perrito. So that's going to be my review. I hope you enjoyed it. This is Kevin, the Tattoo Toy Hunter, reminding you never give up that hunt. And then pew, 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 pew. Y'all take care. Peace. Yeah.